Hi, I'm Dan Ireland. This is Trailers from Hell. I have a question for you. What's your favorite color? Well, I'm wearing black today because I wanted my favorite color to be obvious. And it isn't black. It's pink. That's right. This is my good friend from one of my favorite comedies of the 60s. I don't know his name. I think his name is a Pink Panther. But let's take a look. <laughs> Pardon me, sir, but what are you looking at? I don't think Blake Edwards ever had any idea when he started off making this film that he would end up making five sequels to it over a period of time um, with the great Peter Sellers. In fact, he made another film because Sellers came to him because he didn't like the script, and he and William Peter Blatty turned it into a Clouseau film, but we'll talk about that one later. The Pink Panther was absolutely one of my very favorite comedies as a kid growing up because I'd never seen the likes of Peter Sellers or David Niven or the beauties uh, kept you seen who was in North to Alaska with John Wayne, which my father loved and forced me to watch about 20 times, and the voluptuous Claudia Cardinelli, who was in Lucino Visconti's The Leopard and Federico Fellini's Eight and a Half in her first American role. Put these two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight elements all together, and you end up with a great romp that takes you from Hollywood to Paris to Rome to a beautiful little resort called Cortina d'Empezzo, which is in the mountains in Italy. The score is probably one of the finest scores that was ever written for a sophisticated romantic comedy. Not since Breakfast at Tiffany's had Henry Mancini topped himself quite like he did in this one. The real thing that made this film go, let's face it, is Peter Sellers. Peter Sellers brought such life, such humor, such insanity to the screenplay and really took it to a whole nother level. Maurice Richland and Blake Edwards were the two people that wrote the screenplay and they kept going back to this one all the time because this one kind of ruled all the other ones that came with the exception of one other one which we'll talk about later. Walter Mirsch um, on stage with Blake Edwards talked about the insanity of working with Peter Sellers and the joy and the terror of not knowing what he was going to do or how he was going to do it, if he was going to show up, if he was going to have a temper tantrum, but it was all worth it. It gave the cast probably some of their best roles. Robert Wagner was never better as George Lytton. Um, and David Niven just makes this whole thing so effortless and so beautiful. The film has one of the greatest title sequences, I think, in any comedy, which spurred probably one of the worst cartoon series of all time. But let's focus on the positive. The animation titles at the beginning of this film are really wonderful. And the film is a total joy. And there's a beautiful restoration of it on a Blu-ray. So if you haven't seen Blake Edwards' The Pink Panther, I highly recommend you do. It's a lot of laughs, and more than that, it's Peter Sellers. How can you go wrong? The Pink Panther. Most unfortunate, Mr. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I didn't get the name. Oh.